So yesterday I did make a video talking about the next Dokkan Festival exclusive uh, to potentially be announced on the JP version of Dokkan. And it seems that um, it wasn't last night, right? I, I did say my video. I didn't really think it was going to be last night. Most likely will actually be tonight. So in the video, I'll probably be like, you know, oh, Dokkan Festival tonight. We're going to be talking about just two potential options, I do think. Uh, yesterday, I talked about, you know, what other potential options we could see along with community reactions. If you haven't seen that, feel free to check that out, like community thoughts, I'd say. Um, but tonight, what should happen is we should get the Dokkan Fest teaser. The 30th, we will get the Dokkan Festival details. And then later that night, uh, at least US time, we will get the data download. Depending on your time zone, it will be on the 31st. But then the Dokkan Fest should not release until the 3rd. So we're still a pretty long way away from actually seeing the Dokkan Festival um, being sent out. The reason why is because they actually don't drop things over the weekend. So I would not expect the release. I, I, they would not drop on the 31st. Uh, like on the first or the second, I just wouldn't expect to release then. It's basically the same with how Bardock worked, where Bardock was revealed again. And uh, if we go back to October, right, if you guys remember this for JP, Bardock was revealed on the 26th on a Wednesday. Uh, info data download 27th uh, slash 28th, right? And then we didn't get the actual drop until the 31st. So that's probably what's going to happen here. Um, and that's when we should expect the Dokkan Fest to come out. They could always change things, right? But this is just, you know, based off of previous releases and how Dokkan usually likes to handle these things, right? <laughs> Continuing on from there, though, I, again, I talked about some moss yesterday. I was like, if the reveal isn't tonight, um, then we'll be talking about this today. And I'm going to go into more in the depth about why I think Zamasu is actually potentially going to be next or like a Goku Black, right? I mean, if we just take a look here. Like, Zamasu in general, first off, Zamasu doesn't actually have a Dokkan Festival. Uh, actually, I'm a liar. Zamasu does have a Dokkan Festival. Uh, this Age of Zamasu, I completely forgot about him, actually. This is Fusion Zamasu, right? Um, but I believe it's been some time since, like, the Zamasu Dokkan Festival has been updated. And this is, like, this Dokkan Fest, like, event, isn't it? Um, I believe... It's just like Fusion Zamasu on there, right? It is like a Fusion Zamasu like event. Technically, it's just Zamasu, right? But like this whole sort of whole trunk. So I guess like normal Zamasu can get his own separate event. Maybe they add to this, right? Who knows? But um, I think like standalone Zamasu could definitely get another Dokkan Festival exclusive. And it would make a lot of sense to me. I feel like they would save like Goku Black or even a new Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black for like worldwide download celebration. In fact, in my again, little like, you know, predictions for the year. I'm thinking what we could see maybe for the 400 mil downloads um, in August, September is like a dual Dokkan festival of a new Carnival LR Vegeta Blue and then a new LR standalone Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. And then, you know, one thing they could release to kind of have at least have a little build up for that is like some Masu and then this Ink Goku Black EZA, right? Because this Ink Goku Black EZA is very, very close to getting his Extreme Z Awakening. He's the third unit in line uh, in terms of premium releases. It's LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. It is then STR Jiren, uh, which I think Golden Week fits Universe Survival Saga more, right? Right? And kind of like what I'm thinking here. They could release like a God Topo, I guess, right? That could work as well. But I, I think Zamasu would be a really good choice right here. Make him like a really, really good support. On Twitter, I'm going to make a prediction. And then maybe tomorrow, if it's Zamasu's the Dokkan Fest, I'll make a video on it. But um, I think Zamasu could be really good. Like make him the path to power could go to villains. Uh, Zamasu really fits that, right? Like, damage reduction, support, maybe healing, you know, scouter even, right? There's a lot of potential that this Zamasu could have based on how he fits his role in the series. And he could be really good. So, I think a Zamasu would be what's needed for villains right now. Rather than maybe, like, another mega strong offensive powerhouse, you know, support like Rosé. More of a defensive, you know, just helping the team overall. Zamasu, I think, would be really, really good. Obviously, Ink Goku Black's EZA is upcoming. This guy would be another helpful thing. If they do give us this Ink Goku Black EZA, that would be very nice. Um, just for villains, right? Another support, potentially. But they have to change this. Just make it turn 4. <laughs> Sweet and simple. Make it turn 4. No HP restriction. And then, bam, you get to this guy and give him starter turn defense. This this Goku Black, the in Goku Black, could be really good. He already has the 50% stacking defense. So if he gets starter turn defense with his EZA bump, 
uh, these could be looking pretty interesting for this guy. One reason he didn't age well at all, and he wasn't good on release really even, is because he had no defense here. So like you start off like at 40k defense, and then you stack like 20k defense each turn, uh, <laughs> which is pretty bad, right? Um, but one reason why I'm thinking about Zamasu in general is because uh, Beerus. I think Beerus, we could see a Hakai Beerus very very soon. This LR God Goku Easy is kind of in limbo now for JP. And I feel like they might easy a him sooner than later. We don't know what they're saving him for. They obviously didn't easy him during this Battle of God celebration. That means that they're saving him for something, right? So I'm thinking, what works with, you know, God Goku? Beers works pretty well with God Goku, right? Uh, I, I think a lot of people would agree with that. It could be like, you know, I feel like Battle of Gods this Goku would fit with like Beerus better than like anything else. Like what else could you fit with? I guess like a maybe like a UI Goku, sure, but like they would easy something from Turn and Power that has like 16 gajillion EZAs they could do, right? Like even STR UI Goku would fit better. So what would work with Beerus, right? Uh physical Beerus could easy attend potentially with him, but I think this god of Goku would be really, really well. And then this make this like a Realm of Gods future saga kind of celebration. This guy would kind of count, not really future saga, but yeah. This guy hasn't been represented. He fits with Zamasu here. Zamasu fits with Goku Black Guy. You know, you can kind of see like the puzzle pieces added together. That's my thought process, right? Thinking about it, I'm like, this would be really good. Um, and hopefully they could kill the celebration, right? I think it would make a lot of sense. These would all tie well in with the upcoming EZAs, you know, with what they potentially could do. There's a lot of, there's still a good amount of future saga EZAs they could do. Um, and I think Worldwide Celebration could really work as Future Saga as well. But who knows? They could drop um, God Topo or something, right? They could drop Android 18, like I said, right? Um, they could do anything random and then just don't put those puzzle pieces together and make it random, right? They could drop Android 18, Easy A, Super Saiyan 3, Dragon Fist Goku, and then just like, yeah, <laughs> right? Or, I don't know, something like that, right? Um, but that's my thought process on the Zamasu thing. Now, another thing we could see, I think, potentially, is... Uh, I was talking with Luka Dokkan, and he kind of brought it up with me. Dragon Ball Saga, right? Which is kind of a very stark difference between Zamasu seeing Dragon Ball Saga here. But hear me out, guys. So, we know Physical Kid Goku is next to return. He should be returning on this Dokkan Festival banner. Int April Fool's Boma is also going to be getting her Dokkan Awakening this year, right? Because we already, last year, had the... Gohan and Videl, they came out with their Dokkan Awakening, right? This was the April Fool's from last year, which was Boma. Oh, you know, another reason why uh, the Dokkan Festival announcement could be tonight, and then Day Down Down only here, is because you have to keep in mind, there's April Fool's. Uh, they always do an April Fool's event every day. So we set, we have to get a day to download, like, on the 30th, for the April Fool's stuff, right? So I, I think tonight is very, very likely. Um, regardless of that, this Boma... Uh, it could get a Dokkan Awakening, right? So again, she's in the Dragon Ball Saga category. This guy's returning. Um, and one other piece of note I want to bring up here is that last year, we did have this World Tournament in April. Now, they pushed the World Tournament back um, this year to the, at the anniversary, but it would have been in, I believe, January. But they had to push it back because of an issue with... Um, well, the fan meetup, they schedule at the same time as the fan meetup, which is really stupid for them. But, I mean, I could see a world tournament in the middle of April. And you know what they're doing? They've been, they're starting to EZA these world tournament units. These are all like Dragon Ball Saga units. Last time we got the STR Dokkan Fest on, oh, what's the Dokkan Fest? We got the STR Kid Goku. This guy actually got his EZA, um, which is very, very, I guess, he's, he's all right, right? I guess. I haven't actually EZA'd him. They didn't give us enough medals to EZA him, so... That's a thing, right? Uh, I brought this up. I talked about this yesterday. Like, the Zamasu team could be really good. But uh, that's besides the point. Like, they could easy and awaken Grandpa Gohan or Kami or this Piccolo. Like, some of these older units. Even King Piccolo, right? And that could be working out really, really well. Um, but I, I think there's a couple of options we could see for a Dokkan Fest. We could see a full power Roshi that could work. Tien is technically a villain. Though I don't... Tien doesn't have, like, big bad bosses or anything, right? He just... Yeah, uh, it sucks. Dude. If this guy had big bad bosses, that'd be really sick. But I, I get why, because he's not really, it's not really like a, he's the antagonist. He should have big bad bosses, honestly, but I guess not. 
Um, Demon King Piccolo has big bad bosses though, so I know I, I mentioned here, you know, any of these guys couldn't get a Dokkan Fest, I feel that could be cool. Demon King Piccolo old especially, I think would really work well. Like we can get the old Demon King Piccolo EZA, then we can get the sub EZA for this guy and the Roshi. We could still get like the sub EZA, uh, like a world tournament EZA for this int old Demon King Piccolo even, or this tech youth Demon King Piccolo. Which one's older? The youth one or the old one? Dude, it's, it's, I haven't like used these units in a gajillion years. September 3rd, 2015. Yeah, they both came out at the same time. So they can both easy, eh, right? And even this guy, maybe it could be a nice floating support. And this guy is like a great slot one unit. Maybe it could just be Youth Demon King Piccolo, right? And the LR, like, <laughs> there's no way they easy A this guy, <laughs> right? After they just easy a Piccolo. Though, one world tournament run, if you get really high, you only need one run to easy an LR. I, they they could be crazy if they want to. This unit can get an easy A, right? Uh, there's a lot of potential options there for sure. Um, uh, this Yamcha, he never got his easy A, right? We don't have like a sticker for him or anything, but he can get an update to a story event easy A. They could easy A just a random unit. Nothing really fits for Dragon Ball Saga, but like, I don't know. They could just throw in Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Maybe they just don't have plans for like a you know like a dogon fest or karuta guard or something right and they can just throw them in there like one unit that they just don't like they're like yeah we don't want to do a dogon fest for this now right um but yeah i guess one uh one last thing i want to note this doesn't really mean anything but in kid goku actually released for the 1500 day celebration dogon is actually hitting 3000 days in three weeks april 18th will be the 3000th day in dogon which is literally in three weeks from now right at the time of this post right this is going to be around when the part 2 LR releases. So imagine this. I said, Great Ape Kid Goku LR, right? Imagine even they make him a Carnival LR if they really wanted to. I don't think they would. Um, I would assume it's a yellow coin, but like Demon King Piccolo Dokkan Fest into an LR Giant Ape Kid Goku. That could work out pretty cool. Um, even like a Tien even. Tien would be a really good pick. <laughs> if I had to choose Demon King Piccolo... I mean, if I, if I could choose, I would choose Tien probably, but Demon King Piccolo is probably a better choice. That's hard. Cause I, I'm a huge fan of this Tien. He deserves a good card. 22nd Budokai Tien especially. He, Tien's goaded, man. For real, for real. But um, that could be cool. I think, you know, kind of matching that up, right? Um, Every 1,500 days, we get a kid Goku. <laughs> but, um... I, I would like that a lot. We don't have an LR Kid Goku. We haven't got a giant Ape Kid Goku in so long. This guy could work really well with the Path to Power Kid Goku, right? Hachan, right? Be very helpful to Dragon Ball Saga because Dragon Ball Saga actually does not have a summonable LR. We see they're all free to play LRs. This category could really, really benefit from having a summonable LR, like more HP, just overall strength of LRs, right? They usually make LRs very, very good. I mean, the last time an LR hasn't been top 10, when was that? Like, Fusion the Moss was top 10, Golden Freezer was top 10. Like, even just thinking about Yellow Coin LRs. Like, Ultimate Gohan, when he came out, he was top 10. So, I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Uh, I'll end it here. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you next time.